30 years ago, we used to have a fire. Maybe we put our mask on, maybe we wouldn't. We would take it off as soon as we could. Some of the older guys never even used a face piece or a breathing apparatus. It was salty if you could take the smoke. After a fire, I'd go back to quarters. You'd be coughing up black phlegm. You blow your nose, black. You could smell the fire for days on end every time you took a shower. And then you'd get another fire and the whole process would start over again. As a former Boston firefighter and an occupation medicine doc for the fire department, I realized being a Boston firefighter to me is the best occupation out there. Unfortunately, there's a tremendous amount of health risk. Too many Boston firefighters develop occupation-related cancer because they're exposed in the firehouse and on the fire ground. I was diagnosed with colon cancer in February of 2013. I was having some symptoms. My primary care happens to be Dr. Mike Hamrock. I went and had the colonoscopy. My phone was ringing the next day. I looked up the caller ID, I said to my wife, I go, this is the doctor, I go, this can't be good. When you show up at a fire building, you're exposing yourself to these cancer-causing chemicals, and every household product is now contains flame retardants. And when they combust, they give off these dangerous cancer-causing chemicals that you inhale, absorb through the skin. Is there a connection? There's, there has to be. Is if I know equal amount of people on the street, my friends and neighbors, and none of them are dying of cancer, and I know half a dozen guys in the job that are dying of cancer. I was lucky, they found mine early. I have that in the back of mind all the time because if I had waited, I'd be on my way to my deathbed right now. I can guarantee you that. There's so many guys that died way too young on this job from cancer. Johnny Fogarty, John Kenny. Frankie Flynn for me. Frankie Flynn. I got hired with him, a real good guy. When I swear in a new firefighter in this city, they're there to protect us as firefighters, but also we're there to protect them for doing their job, and we have to do a better job than that. Far too many firefighters, both active and retirees, are coming down with cancer, and their parents, and their fathers, and sons, and daughters, and brothers, and we have a responsibility to protect them. Our members understand it now. It's the young guys, it's the middle-aged guys, it's even the older guys. We all understand that we're burying our friends. There's no silver bullet here. There is not a, one issue that's going to make this go away. It's a culmination of everything working together, which will help reduce the cancer rates in the Boston Fire Department. You know, the general public thinks, oh, it's a dangerous job. It's a dangerous job because we're running into burning buildings. You're going to know more people that die of cancer from this job than die from running into a burning building. You can go in that kitchen right now. Someone in that kitchen is a good chance it's going to come down with cancer. Can you help reduce those chances? Yes. First of all, when a firefighter pulls up to a fire building, they need to take extreme precautions before you enter that building so you don't get cancer on the job. So you need to have the bunker gear on fully. You need to have your self-contained breathing apparatus on your face before you enter the fire building until you exit the fire building. You should also be wearing the hood on fully so you prevent exposure to any contaminants through the skin as well. As soon as you're out of the fire building, immediately use the wet naps to remove some of the cancer-causing soot from your face and neck. Firefighters should also do a brief decon of the gear to get rid of some of the particulates from the gear before they go back to the firehouse. Once the firefighters are back at the firehouse, they should shower within an hour to further remove any of the dangerous cancer-causing chemicals through the skin. Make sure that your bunker gear is washed on a regular basis so they don't keep on exposing themselves to the cancer-causing chemicals on the bunker gear. We encourage firefighters to do a workout within 24 hours after the fire to help expedite some of these cancer-causing chemicals through the sweat. We also encourage firefighters to participate in our O2X Human Performance Program. O2X is a human performance company. We focus on health, wellness, development, to develop everybody into tactical athletes. We take our five pillars, conditioning, nutrition, stress, sleep, and resilience. Resilience being the ability to bounce back. From nutrition, understanding that there's a proper amount of fuel that you need to put in your body to give you the energy levels to perform at your job. And then conditioning, prehabilitation, understand that there's demands on your body due to the nature of the job, and get ahead of them, sleep, and that's where you recover and regenerate. And then of course, stress. 
how to mitigate that stress and how to get yourself back in the zone to perform at high levels over time. That's the tactical athlete part of this. There's a lot of things we have to do to be able to meet our mission. You know, if that day came where you had to drag one of your buddies out of a building, then you were prepared to do that. A lot of lifestyle, trying to make you better at home, better at work, better eater, better sleeper. You'll be better for these guys when the time comes. It took a long time to get this relationship together. Working with the department, working with Commissioner Finn, working with Mayor Walsh. We're gonna beat cancer, we're gonna solve this problem in the fire service. Having this relationship certainly is beneficial, keeping the people of the city safe, but also making sure the people that protect our city are safe as well. We do have the tools. We have an unprecedented time right now. Now it's up to you to make sure that you do your part. Enjoy what you have right now, respect what you have, do the right thing because we want you to go home at night and we want you to retire and enjoy your family and your grandkids. You. <laughs> no, these young guys, they're all buff. They're all like this. They're all working out all the time. That's the outside of their body. Pay attention to the inside of your body. You know, you live and learn. You know, the, the job's moving forward in a, in a good way, getting all these young guys on board, eating healthy, their faces are covered, they're taught to clean their gear. I went 20 years without I think, ever washing my fire gear, ever. Dirtier the better. Dirtier the better. You're responsible for that now. When that apparatus backs in, put that on. Put the plymo vent on. Everything's there. Yeah. It's a matter of us doing it. Yeah. Like, hey, use it. It's there for a reason. <laughs>